Okay, y'all, so this is my prayer board that I've been working on. I know y'all can't see me, but this is the prayer board, uh, y'all. So, I'm going to show y'all in detail everything soon as I am done. But I'm almost done, y'all. But, yeah, this is the prayer board that I'm putting in my prayer closet. So, yeah. Okay, y'all, so I'm going to show y'all everything soon as I'm done because I'm not exactly done yet. But I am putting my um, prayer board together. I'm putting it together, as y'all can see. I'm not completely done. I'm almost done, but I still got, like, a few more things that I need to add. Like, I want to add more of, like, these hearts and these flowers. And then I'm pretty much done. And then, of course, like I said, I'm going to show y'all the whole board. It says, pray without season. This one says, pray one for another that you may be healed. James 5, 16. And so I'm putting it under the health category so that's pretty much how I'm doing it because it's like I'm putting the scripture under the category that it goes to and that I feel it goes to like for gratitude this says in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving let your request be known unto God and you know gratitude is to have like a attitude of thanksgiving and gratefulness and all of that so that's why i'm putting that right here and then this one says others so it says i have prayed for thee that thy faith fail not so it's letting this scripture is basically saying i have prayed for you you know which has to do with others so i put that there and then this one it says guidance and it says, watch and pray that ye enter not unto, unto temptation. And to me, saying watch and pray, that's like a form of guidance. Because you're letting the person know like what to do and what not to do. How to overcome it, whatever the case may be. If y'all get, get the gist of it. So that's pretty much everything that I have. And um, everything that I put on the board. I'm going to go ahead and put some more of these. Here, just because I like the way it looks but y'all I am done with my board as y'all can see and I'm going to show it to y'all from a different and better angle than this in just a second Hey y'all, this is my prayer board. As y'all can see, it is done. Okay, y'all, so I'm back and I'm currently in my prayer closet. As you can, t can tell, I know y'all can see this stuff and see the um, bean bag back there, but I'm about to go ahead and fix up like my little desk area or whatever you want to call it. So let me show y'all. This is currently, so this is currently what I have and where I'm at, y'all. So, y'all, what I haven't showed y'all is my freaking Bible literally has fallen apart. So, I'm about to glue it, okay? I'm gonna glue this Bible. And y'all, I never understood, like, how my grandmom's Bible would be falling apart and she would still just hold on to it. And I'm like, just get another Bible, but... 
And I would be like, just get another Bible. But I understand her pain now, y'all. Because it's like, you feel so connected to your Bible. Especially after you done already, you know, done so many freaking notes and highlighting and stuff. Like, I still, I've done a good bit of highlighting. But it hasn't been like, just like the whole freaking book. But I, I've, I've done a lot of, you know, notes and stuff in here. A good amount of them anyway and I don't know I'm just connected with my Bible so you know it's like I don't want to have to throw it away or nothing like that like yeah I'm gonna definitely hold on to this as long as I can um, so yeah that's what we finna do in this video go ahead and put some glue on this Bible y'all finna put some glue on this Bible Like, and we're going to pray you hold it together. So I'm going to just press down a little bit. I'm going to let that sit for a second. Put my Bible down there. And I don't know exactly how I want to do this. I have a, I probably need to get, um, the only reason why I didn't get a pen holder, y'all, is because I have this pouch so instead of having like a pencil holder or whatever the case may be i was like i'll just um you know use this so this is the book of mark that we're studying currently and it's really really good i'm not gonna get into it but it's talking about the last days like currently right now it says not one stone on another this is when jesus was answering the um the disciples about the fall that was about to happen and basically he was just letting it be known like ain't nothing finna be here the abomination of desolation the great tri tribulation the coming of the son of man that was last week because as you see it says september 6 and then it says taken and tried and this is where we are i didn't do yesterday's lesson but i'm gonna definitely do today's which is sunday and then i'm gonna go back and read over saturday but um so we're reading from the book of mark so i'm gonna keep that in here and then of course i'm gonna have this on there on here which i've showed y'all the journal that i have i am definitely about to start journaling in there so these are the things that i'm gonna be having in here along with my pens and i'm gonna just keep this in here and my little notepads And then I'm about to start this book, y'all. I'm so happy about this book, The Power of Your Dreams. And it says, a guide to hearing and understanding how God speaks to you, um, speaks while you sleep. My bad. That's what it says. And y'all, if y'all don't know about Stephanie, Stephanie Ike Okafer, y'all need to go look up her YouTube. She got some powerful stuff that she be talking about. And, you know, dreams is just inevitable. We're going to dream, like, regardless, we're going to dream. And it's a lot that I want to learn and understand more about dreams, especially growing up learning about uh, Joseph, um, who, you know, was able to um, interpret dreams. I've always wanted to be able to do that, which I know this is kind of like something similar to being able to interpret and just getting closer to God and just being able to understand more. Um and understand what is God trying to tell you or show you and stuff. And of course we know not all dreams be from God. But you know she gets into all of this stuff. So yes. I definitely want to read this book. And I'm going to link her uh, video where she talks about dreams and stuff. And then she mentions her, her book. I'm going to link that down below. And then I also have my prayer binder y'all. I'm going to tell y'all about this. Um, maybe in another video because i feel like this video has already been long enough but yeah and i'm gonna have my prayer uh binder i'm also probably do a little tiktok or reel about that but yeah these are my things that i have in here and then i'm just gonna show y'all the whole room and yeah y'all i'm done y'all forgot about one more thing i gotta put this up and this is going 
on the outside of the closet, y'all. I almost forgot about this. And to me, every part of my prayer closet is important. Even this little sign, even though it's going outside of the door. Plus, even though it's just a sign, it's still very important because the message on it is very, very powerful. Because we know anything in the Bible is powerful anyways. So... The belt of truth, breastplate of righteousness, shoes of peace, shield of faith, helmet of salvation, sword of spirit, Ephesians 6 10. We got to put on the whole armor of God. The whole armor of God. But yeah, I'm just sticking this in here like so. And I'm going to put this on the outside. Come on. Okay, y'all, we're about to put this on there. Like so. Stick it right here on the door. Well, let me close it all the way because I don't want it to go in between the cracks. Slippers out the way. And the paper. Yeah, y'all, this is how it's going to be. I hate that it's kind of like cricket. But I wish the door came out a little further so then it could be like this versus, you know, sitting like that. But I guess I'll have to make do or unless y'all might um put something right here and stick it right here like in the middle of my door. That's what I'm probably going to do. I like it better like that. But anyways... That's the last thing that I have. 